again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 18th of January, 2019. Just read an article on CNN politics written by Caitlin Collins, Kevin Liptak, and Jeff Zellini, Z-E-L-E-N-Y, all of CNN. This was published on the 17th of January, 2019. Title, Trump Startled by Cozy Bar Mueller Relationship. President Donald Trump was startled Tuesday as he watched television coverage of his nominee for Attorney General describing a warm relationship with the special counsel Robert Mueller in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee, according to three people familiar with the matter. What does that tell you, huh? During the first day of his confirmation hearing, William Barr described telling the president the first time he met him in June 2017 that he was friends with Mueller, referring to him on a first name basis. Quote, I told him how well I knew Bob Mueller and that the Barrs and Muellers were good friends and we would be good friends when this is all over, Barr said. Bob is a straight shooter and should be dealt with as such. Hmm. You might want to ask Whitey Bulger if you could, but he's no longer with us. But there's a lot of evidence that says that Whitey Bulger would dispute that comment, being that Mueller's a straight shooter. What does this tell you? I'll tell you what it tells me. And you've heard me say this more than once. What it tells me is President Trump does not know how to pick people. People within his inner circle, his administration, must have recommended Barr to President Trump. Barr himself says the first time he met Trump was in June 2017. So these appointments that Trump is making, they're not the appointments that he himself is making, they're appointments that have been recommended for him to make. They're setting them up with people like William Barr. I had said before that William Barr is a, pardon expression, piss poor choice. Why? Because he worked in the Bush administration. William Barr is another swamp critter recycled by Trump, pulling him out of the swamp into his own inner circle, which has become a swamp. William Barr said during his hearing that Trump was interested in hearing about the friendship. The details that emerged this week caught the president off guard. The three sources said he bristled at Barr's description of a close relationship, complaining to aides he didn't realize how much their work overlapped or that they were so close. There is no indication Trump's surprise will jeopardize the nomination, however. Later, Trump privately rationalized the relationship between Barr and Mueller stemming from both having worked in a Washington legal establishment for years, according to one of the people. Folks, are you sort of getting the picture? President Trump does not know what he's doing. He's made countless wrong choices, beginning with his first chief of staff, Rents Priebus, who gave $153 million to Jebby Bush to beat candidate Trump. And then Trump rewards him by bringing him into his inner circle as a chief of staff. It makes no sense. Bringing in people from Obama's military, H.R. McMaster, John Kelly, they both thrived in Obama's administration and we know that Obama purged the military of those that didn't see it his way. The list of poor choices by Trump is endless, including his personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, 
who I just posted a video about his close ties to 9-11, having known that the towers were going to come down. That's why none of his people were in his command center in Building 7 when it came down. Folks, all you have to do is look at the pieces of the puzzle and you'll see the truth. President Trump does not have a clue as to what he's doing and the people that are being recommended to him are being recommended to him to try to help destroy his presidency. He's got his senior advisors, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner. What he needs to do is tune into ZollnerReport.com. But personally, I think it's too late. I think he sealed his own fate by recommending this William Barr, a 68-year-old burned-out swamp critter, as his new Attorney General. Even Jeff Session, a piss-poor choice, and he let Jeff Session linger far, far too long. He doesn't know how to pick people. That's sort of what I think. Read the article. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in all your social media accounts. You heard it here first, didn't you?